so as an investor whenever we are participating in any business or taking a business decision so which is more most important part is that whether we are investing in a right sector for right business or not next part is that whether we know the all the policies which are in favor of the business or not whether any uh, thing any government policies can uh, can affect in near future that is very most important something will come in favor it will actually accelerate the growth and if anything goes wrong so both the part we should know at the same time we should know uh, whether we actually comfortable we can connect all the dots of the business or not next part is as a like when you come to a financial profit and loss and balance sheet should be in like in profit top line should be in uptrend expense should be in control operating profit should be in uptrend and operating profit margin should expand that is the very ideal situation where a company is able to reach maximum customer and they are being complete control in expenses utilizing their resources efficiently and having a sufficient profit so at the same time if you see the margin expansion is happening that that actually gives a clear picture that the company is having a, a higher command on a buyers so whatever pricing power they are just saying to their buyers no buyers are ready to purchase that now it comes to your balance sheet if you see the balance sheet if you see any company is growing with uh, like no debt it's very fantastic if you see the some companies are growing with debts and their top line is growing that means we need to look, re look at whether the company is continuously adding their fixed asset what they are doing whether re they are reinvesting continuously in uh, expansion or not are they giving a uh, total whatever they are earning whether they are giving back the reward to their shareholder as a dividend or not so as a whole a profit and loss and balance sheet also gives a very pretty clear picture about a company's growth but what the main thing is missing is if you don't understand cash flow so cash flow comprises with three activity one is operating activity investing activity and financing activity let's understand as a brief operating activity is nothing but that whatever operating core activity your business from business how much cash is flowing to your in your hand exactly in your hand or in your business how much you are making that picture it comes in a cash flow from operating activity if it is not flowing that means fund got stuck somewhere now investing activity gives a picture that where you are investing whether your investing activity is all about your internal development so internal development whatever you you are doing that you are buying a fixed asset say let's look fixed assets you are buying you are selling your fixed asset whatever investment internal decisions other than core activity you are taking some step to become more efficient so how you can do expansion you have a 100 rupee now how you can make your 100 rupee 120 50 30 rupee in future when you are installing one new machinery so your productivity will become enhanced so once your productivity will enhance so it will help you to enhance your top line so expand your geographical presence as well as you can reach more number of customer and also you can make more profit at the same time when it comes to financing activity so at the same time people when company is growing company sometimes grow with the help of internal cash accruals which is a cash flow and sometimes they need a external fund so when a company require external fund what they will do they will take proceeds they will take some borrowing which is coming here to positive figure that it means a negative figure in cash flow means the cash is going back somewhere here if you see in 2019 whatever 89 rupee came in cash flow of operating activity they have infused they have reinvested in fixed asset at the same time they have repaid also with remaining part their whatever borrowing they have now come on in financing activity financing activity means we will be repaying all our external customer external means external sources of raising fund external source of paying like stakeholders dividend stakeholders are not a core 
part of the company. They are the shareholder. So shareholders giving, always we say, no, this, a company is an artificial entity. So we, whenever, whoever it is, whoever operating the company, all are external people, external customer. So when company is paying back the dividend to their shareholders, it will come as a financing activity. So whoever has helped them to run the business, we are, as a shareholder, we have helped them to run the business. So company, what they are taking, company is giving back that 10 rupee to us. Now what company is not only taking fund from the shareholders, also they are taking fund from a bank, financial institution. When they're paying back the financial institution any money, so it will also appear as a negative figure. So this is a trend. If you just understand this trend, 2019, it was positive. 2020, it was like also positive. And they're infusing continuously, repaying, investing, and uh, at the same thing, repaying, borrowing. Repayment of borrowing is going on. Now, uh, the core part is that how, okay, fine. So cash flow is coming. So how I can assess this cash flow is good or bad? Every year cash flow is different. So one need to understand that cash flow is giving a clear picture of your whether your fund is getting stuck anywhere or not. So how to analyze that? What I consider that whatever profit of the tax a company is doing, say a company is doing in 2019, uh, say 19 rupee net profit. And now if you come on a cash flow in 2019, they're getting 89 rupees. So somewhere fund got stuck in 2019, which they have received in the 2019. So up you got back your that payable, you got 51 rupee. You got back your receivable, which got stuck 55 rupee in 2018. So it is coming back to you. So that is why it is like 80% should come back to your like operating activity. If you have 100 rupee ka net profit, hai, net profit noted down somewhere, then 80% should come down to your operating activity. With that 80%, if you invest 70%, if a company investing 70% for investing activity, which is really very good. Now, whether they're taking a financing uh, activity, health proceeds from something somewhere, whether they're repaying, that will actually give a more clear picture that whether company is going to reduce their borrowing, whether actually they require more uh, funding or not for expansion. The ideal situation is 80% should flow to your operating activity and 60-70% if you are investing from whatever process it's coming from operating activity. So hope uh, if you just uh, like analyze multiple good companies thing, you will be seeing in a growth phase, company is generating 70-80% from a operating activity and they're infusing maximum in investing activity. If you see in 2019, this is the figure. And if you just do relook at in next like last five years, what happened? You'll see that one second, the price has grown from 60, 70, 50 level to a thousand level just because of company was reinvesting their capital and whatever is coming, they are doing a fantastic expansion. So this is about a gravitational. Now let's look at right from group. So from that also, we will understand that whether the company is good or bad. If you look at a financial part, say you have done other uh, all assessment of a promoter and everything. Now you come to a sales. Sales was growing 5,000, 7,300, 7,600 and net profit was a 900, 1300, 1400. So it's great. No company is growing. Now, if you come on cash flow, you will look at that 460, 287, 700 fee. It is not 80%. Not even any, like, now, look at here. So, 1371 net profit. So, 1371, at least 1000. At least 1000 in 900. At least it should come 600, 700. So, how much it's coming? 287. So, where is getting stuck? So enter 761, then it is a, you are raising some fraud bill or fraud suppliers 
like uh, receivables just to show off your sales, which is not actual sales. And you are just uh, increasing the value in terms of where people will see, you know, that, oh my God, the stock price is moving, so I should participate. They should look at that whether receivables are negative continuous in trend. If it is continuous negative in trend, forget about that company. Don't invest. If it is negative, they are not utilizing. They are unable to collect. So that is why if you sum up this thing, at least 80% should come down to operating activity. If it is 1000, here it should be 800. Now you should in invest somewhere. Now where they were investing is a software company. So they were, have shown that 124, they have some purchase fixed asset, uh, work in progress, all these things they have shown. I don't know what exactly they have invested. Now, uh, if you see proceeds from shares, they are uh, raising fund, all these things. So flow of fund is coming, 836, some uh, buyback or something has happened, I, I guess in 2022. So other financing items they have uh, like they have repaid. So all means one cash flow from operating activity is not giving a 80% proceed from your operation. Just don't look at. And if you see the considerable, like if you see the business receivable is continuously in negative in trend, they are not able to realize whatever bills they are raising. It is a clear red flag. So in this way, if you invest, no, investment is easy. So hope that as an investor, we will uh, do our due diligence and we'll understand and we'll select our only good businesses. Thank you, everyone.